what are case classes in scala so this is a very important question because case classes are something which we use very frequently in uh, scala and also in big data applications like spark so let's understand what are case classes right so case classes in scala are a special type of class that comes with several built-in features and are designed primarily for modeling immutable data okay so basically we use the case class to model that means we use the case class to create a schema or a structure so you have the data so you need to create a structure for that data that is the primary use of case class so there are some features of case classes uh, like case class cannot inherit any other case class so you cannot have one case class and then another case class inheriting this feature so that is not possible uh, it supports pattern matching we will see that in an example now the other important feature is you don't have to use a new keyword to initialize the case class so if you are using a simple class you basically use a new keyword you to initialize that class uh, but in case of case class you don't have to use this by default case classes creates a companion object right so, and what are the companion objects companion objects are those objects that have the same name as that of a class so for example uh, if you create an object by singleton example that's the name of the object and your class is also having the same name singleton example then we say that the object is a companion object and the class is a companion class and the advantage is that they can basically use the each other's private methods so that's the advantage of the companion so by default case classes uh, create a companion object all the arguments will be val right so val basically there are two types of variables right one is val one is var val is immutable you cannot change it so basically case classes are that's what we uh, saw right they are immutable uh, this is the same thing they are immutable they are helpful for modeling the immutable data right so we'll see one example so so here's the case class that i have defined so case class emp you can see name city zip code name is string city is string zip code is integer so basically we are defining a schema or a structure right and then uh, we have emp 1 emp2 which are the instances of this case class now if you see here we are not using a new keyword we are directly going and initializing this case class emp and then we are sending some data right uh, john new york and this is the uh, zip code value so we have we created two instances emp1 emp2 and now one of the features that we see in red it supports pattern matching so we are doing a pattern matching here right so we create a new method print uh, employee information and then uh, this is and its type is of case class emp right and then if we are matching we are matching if the data that we send it matches with the structure or not and if it matches then we are basically printing those data like name dollar name so this is the uh, structure we defined right name city and it so we are basic city and uh, zip code so basically we are printing those data right uh, we are printing this information here okay so let me just uh, remove this okay so this is what a case class is so let me save this and uh, i am going to run this now okay so what will happen is we created in instances of this case class uh, the we had there are two records here john new york and uh, 10001 and then kevin san francisco this one right so basically what will happen is that uh, it is going to initiate this case class and then we are doing a pattern matching here and then if it matches we are going to print this value all right so you can see this data here right the output so so name is john uh, city is new york zip code uh, this value same way we are having uh, this data as well now what i will also do is if we do a emp1 and if you see a dot so you will see here city name zip code right so basically you this is the data that you have so you are assigning a structure so be, this structure is your name city and zip code so you can individually call this data as well so if i want just uh, employee one city i can simply say employee one city i can print this value also so 
let me save this first and uh, let me run so this is where uh, i was talking about the modeling right uh, you are creating a schema so this is an important aspect you have the data and then you define a schema for it using a case class and then using the schema using the structure you can extract the data so basically like creating a structure to a data this structure will then have the columns you can basically retrieve the data using the column just like we retrieve the city data here new york for the employee one using this method all right so this is what case classes are i hope this was helpful and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video